What's up, everybody? Richard and Adam, True Shot, back today with another reaction video. We are. we are. And today, we are checking out a Patreon request from our guy, Tyler Pfeiffer. This is Warbringer Silhouettes. Let's go. Five-minute track. Let's not waste any time. Let's, let's dive into this. Here we go. Napalm, baby. Do you know where these guys are from? I have no idea. The power metal scream.
Okay, that was... All the Napalm record songs like to do that at the end. Uh, okay, do. so that was Warbringer Silhouettes. Hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know, man. I gave that one a 6.5. Um, I, I st- It started out kind of cool, uh, proggy, thrashy. Um, it lost me pretty quick. It, it seemed to do the same, doop, 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 and... Uh, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, to me, it was like throwback 80s Metallica with a little bit of Megadeth mixed in with some, you know, uh, maybe a little bit more modernized type tone. Um, but I thought the riffage was awesome. I thought the, the playing was great. Um, when they came out of those two solos, I thought the bass player was going to get a solo, and I almost screamed, the whole band's going to get a solo, because I was <laughs> hoping they, they, you know, they get a little drummer solo in there too, but they didn't. So I think... Uh, they should have. But overall, just not my cup of tea, which is why they got the 6.5. I'm not a big fan of those type screaming, anthemic, or power metal type vocals, so that lost me right off the gate. Yeah, so for me, it started off, I was kind of, okay, because I'm a, fr- I'm a fan of the thrashy stuff. Like I, I, I do like that kind of stuff. That's kind of my roots in, yep. in metal. Um, I so I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of that kind of stuff, but it's, it's like you said, it's very old school old school but it had like a modern tone to the guitar yeah. which is cool but it's like you said man it just the problem that i have with these types of bands and this, these types of songs is i literally don't know if they're capable of writing a three minute song like everything is so long drawn out just keep doing it over and over again yeah and i, I think some of that has to do with i think this type of metal can be more storytelling you know what yeah, i mean but, so but, but, to, to go uh, yeah. with the story it's more of a composition you could say um but there's more there's more to it than just then i mean it's 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 just longer it's just the style of music i think yeah i guess i mean i i get it i just um i don't know man it's uh, I, it, like the, 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 there's only so long i can listen to that similar thrash kind of riff and it's I just wanna... like it's just like just write worry about writing a cool and good song Rather than just trying to thrash all over the place. I mean, maybe that's my interpretation. Maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I gave it. Like... A, I gave it a six. By the okay, way. so you were you were under me a little bit. Um, you know, I think this style of music has a lot of classical uh, influence. Um, so yeah, I think that that comes out in it too. In in the journey type, you know, composition, the way they kind of write songs. And I, I did give them a bonus point. For I gave him a half a point for each. Yeah, those were good. Those were good. I, I was being sarcastic. I, th- <laughs> I think those are hysterical. Like I just oh, I man. think that those are so funny. You didn't but, catch uh, my sarcasm, but that's okay. Nobody's catching any sarcasm tonight. Anyway, <laughs> as you can see all around us, we have all of our using all of our social media as well as Patreon and Twitch. All those links are below. Tyler, thank you for the request. Thank and you, buddy. Peace. Peace.